looks fantastic. So Trevor McDonald is here now. Thank you for coming in. It does look absolutely brilliant. And it's a real different insight to Vegas. I mean, the, the Vegas that we know and that it's famous for, the fun, anything goes in Vegas. And there is an incredibly dark side. Well, is this great? I mean, you're absolutely right. It's this, it's this city which has made its name as one of the greatest entertainment cities in the world. But there is this dark side. And as, as one of the policemen who I talked to said, you know, everybody comes here and they think that anything goes, mm. that that's not true. The regulations, the laws, the rules are just the same as in any other American city. Mm. But people, for some reason, don't know that. There's a, a sheen, a glitz, mm. a glamour about Las Vegas, which somehow puts that entirely out of people's minds. But that, that glean... That glean and that shimmer is only skin deep, isn't it? And if you scratch it is only skin beneath deep. the surface, yes. as you have done, you realise that, that that dark side to this extraordinary city is quite violent and dangerous and has a lot of sad stories. Well, there always was a dark side to Vegas. I mean, it, it was a city built by the mob. Yeah. Um, and, and, I mean, they did strange things. Uh, you know, they used to test uh, some, you know, weapons in Las Vegas, mm. atom bomb weapons. And the typical Las Vegas reaction would be to drink and a cocktail or, 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 or to put on an atom bomb, um, you know, beauty contest. So they've always been a little sort of far out. Um, and, and today one discovers that, you know, very much as, as people, I suppose, always have. When you met Mike Tyson, you thought anybody who got into the ring with this man sort of 15, 20 years ago was absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. Billions of people around the world watched the fights. And without wishing to comment on t today's heavyweight boxers, who are probably absolutely wonderful, um, you know, I think that was really the kind of golden age of this really brutal sport. Absolutely. Um, there was something we know clearly about him is he has lost a fortune. He's lost tens and tens of millions and of dollars. And he admitted to that, he said. He's but he's still living there in, yeah. in seeming palatial yeah. luxury. Yeah, he's still, he's still... Well, he's now into movies. He's um, he just come back when I saw him from Shanghai, where he'd been filming. Um, so the Chinese moving industry has taken Mike Tyson to its heart, apparently, and um, Tyson was very delighted to talk about that. And it's, um, Nevada is an open carry state, so they can walk down the strip carrying guns, yeah, fully it's... loaded, and it seems in a, in a place, I mean that seems extraordinary to me anyway, and, and obviously they have different gun laws there, but in a place like that, I know. That's kind of such a hotbed of, you know, drink, Energy. alcohol, drugs, yeah. prostitution. Seems, it, seems it seems absolutely bizarre that people will be we, we talked to a bail bondsman who, I, I said, you know, is your job dangerous and, and, and do you have guns? He said, yes, I always have three. And I thought to myself, you know, I can understand somebody having a gun if you're going into a dangerous situation. But why do you have three? <laughs> it's just, it just seems excessive. And, and, and that's the point about Vegas, really. It's you know, all of it is excess. slightly over the top. But as you were there... Did you have a little flutter? No, I'm not. I'm a non-gambler, really. I mean, I, I you don't. Weren't seduced by it at all, or the, the no? No, I've never been seduced by gambling. No, uh, um, it's it seems um, money is too hard earned to come by for, to <laughs> flutter it on somebody else's table. Could